Here lies whom hound did ne'er pursue, nor swifter greyhound follow, whose foot ne'er tainted morning dew, nor ear heard huntsman's halloo. Old Tiny, surliest of his kind, who nursed with tender care, and to domestic bounds confined, was still a wild jack hare. Though duly from my hand he took his pittance every night, he did it with a jealous look, and when he could, would bite. His diet was of wheaten bread, and milk and oats and straw, thistles or lettuces instead, with sand to scour his maw. On twigs of hawthorn he regaled on Pippin's russet peel, and when his juicy salads failed, sliced carrot pleased him well. A turkey carpet was his lawn, whereon he loved to bound, to skip and gamble like a fawn and swing his rump around. His frisking was at evening hours, for then he lost his fear, but most before approaching showers or when a storm drew near. Eight years and five round rolling moons he thus saw steal away, dozing out all his idle noons and every night at play. I kept him for his humor's sake, for he would oft beguile my heart of thoughts that made it ache and forced me to a smile. But now beneath this walnut shade he finds his long last home, and waits in snug concealment laid till gentler push shall come. He still more aged feels the shocks from which no care can save, and partner once of Tiny's box must soon partake his grave. Mm -hmm.